and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm going to be writing the lyric graffiti right there this is the original lyric graffiti the 2022 model and uh, let me hop aboard and then tell you what I'm going to talk about I'm going to actually show you something first so this bike has an on-road off-road switch which is right here this gray button so when it's pressed in that's off-road and out is on road and I've got it in on road mode right now so on load uh, on road limits you to about 20 miles per hour but if you put the pedal assist level to five I've actually had it up closer to 25 miles per hour and that's kind of on a downhill a little bit too so you're not going to get much over 20 it's basically set for class two so if your region is class two then that's perfect for that and if you want to go off-roading you can hit that switch and go to oh about 34 35 miles an hour 34 is pretty sure bad 35 is kind of pushing it but here we are right now in on-road mode and the one thing about on-road mode it's a little slower yes and the other thing is it's a little subtle on the takeoff it's not going to throw you off the bike or anything so it's very gentle to get you going and once you get going you're fine this is a very smooth bike as i've mentioned several times so when you get up to let me get to a place where I can go a little longer stretch without being a stop sign I wanted to show you I don't know if you saw that but um, they talk about e-bikes uh, being the problem on the road my goodness that woman almost cut me right off there and I was Stopped at my stop sign, perfectly fine there, and I uh, almost got uh, taken down. Okay, let me go through this little path here, and then I'm gonna. What I was trying to do is get it up to 20 miles per hour, and show you at 20 miles per hour how much wattage the bike uses so the motor is uh, 750 and a thousand when you uh, have it on on road mode so it peaks at a thousand but it's a 750 watt and so I'm going to show you so if you want to ride and conserve battery it's another uh, way of doing it so here we go this is a slight uphill but very slight so almost flat and let me get it up to and just glide along here at about 20 miles an hour or so hard to get it just right but at 18 miles an hour i'm using 392 watts 19 but i am going into a wind as well and a slight uphill i'm going to actually do a ue right here go back let's try it again I feel a few sprinkles of rain so it should ride around at 20 miles an hour it seems to be around 350 watts and now going the other way here I'm using 200 watts at 18 miles per hour so uh, pretty darn good So that's the way that this bike is legal is by that switch right there because when you switch it it has limits it's limited it becomes a class 2 bike so 
So like I say, the, the takeoff's a little subtle, but once it gets going, it's, it's nice and smooth. I'm really liking the uh, direct drive motors too, they're, they're so quiet. So you can see the takeoff here was a little bit Uh, slower or subtle but once it gets going like I say here's 20 miles per hour going up a little bit of a hill at 400 it's going back and forth between 432 and 480 watts steady 20 miles per hour right there so this is your perfect class 2 right there And class 2 is not much different than the speed limit here of 25 miles per hour, so that's in between a class 2 and a class 3. I am in pedal assist 1 mode, but I'm not pedaling, so I, I don't think that golf cart even looked. He just went right on through. So yeah, if you switch it over to the off-road uh, mode, then you're going to get the faster takeoff and faster speed. But let me see here. Here I am. Still gets going pretty good. I had it backwards when I said about the uh, button. It's, it's in for on-road, out for off-road. So now I'm in the, uh, I think I had it backwards, but I wasn't hitting it full throttle. So now I'm in. I'm in the one I wanted to be in. Okay, so let's turn here and see what we got here. See, it's a little subtle on the takeoff. So if you want to also like for conserving battery, it's going to conserve a lot of battery. It's going to be a lot different uh, riding it in the uh, on-road mode as opposed to off-road mode. I'm going to pull in here, make it look like I'm parking, but I'm going to do a turn here. I want these cars to go by. Okay, now I'm going to come in here and make my move. I'm very busy here. Okay, here we go. So the speed limit in this area right here is 15 miles per hour. I just, uh, I don't know if you caught the sign back there. Speed bump right here. kind of funny that the way this works with on-road versus off-road so on-road is the slower of the two right and off-road is where you can open it up it's kind of funny because to me it should be the other way around in a way you want the torque for off-road though um, but you also want the speed for on-road so in my opinion anyway, to keep up with, with cars and traffic. Now here I am at full throttle to get up that hill in, in on-road and I'm 9, 10 miles an hour. And then it's starting to go now because I'm flattening out here. Alright. 
So I just wanted to show that on-road, off-road, so that um, people can see that this bike has a switch. I don't know if everybody knew that or but now I'm showing you it and that's that's what makes it legal for on-road versus off-road. Now I'm going down a little bit of hill and now we're getting up to our 21 and because I'm coasting now it's going a little over 20 22, 23 Alright, well that's going to do it for this video, and hey, if you uh, like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and uh, support us, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road. See you later.